Good afternoon everybody, Thursday afternoon again, so welcome to Jaffa Club, great to see you. Well, we're doing a special craft this afternoon and it's to do with sheep. The reason it's to do with sheep is because we've been we're talking about the story of the Good Shepherd. And the Good Shepherd in the Bible is a story that Jesus told to describe someone who really, really, really cared about their sheep. They had a hundred sheep. They left 99 of them safely because one of them had got lost somewhere and had to go and find it. And that was because they really cared about that sheep. And Jesus was trying to say that that's how he feels about us, that it doesn't matter how much time or trouble he goes to, he wants, he really cares about us and he really wants us to be with him and be safe with him. So, Based on that story, I thought, okay, let us find ourselves a lost sheep. So, if you download the things that I sent you, you'll find a picture of a sheep. I think that looks reasonably like a sheep. I think it doesn't look too much like a dog or a giraffe or an elephant. Um, now, once you've found your sheep and downloaded it, I want you to also download this page, which you probably can't see too well from this distance, but it is two separate codes, secret codes. The first one at the top is Morse code, which was often used, um, it was actually used very successfully during the war to convey messages. And the one at the bottom is Braille, which is what um, people use who aren't able to see, they're visually impaired. So they use this particular code. And so once you've downloaded that and you've downloaded your sheep, if you want to get all creative, you can then cut out your sheep like I did. And if you want to, you can decorate it. So because I knew that some of you at home wouldn't have the sorts of things that we have at Jaffa Club, like sheepskin and fur fabric and things like that, you might have these at home, just little cotton balls. I was thinking you might have some of those. So what you could do with your sticky glue is just stick those little cotton balls all over your woolly, woolly sheep to make sure that um, it looks a bit like a woolly sheep and then off you go. I also suggest that because that's just paper that it might be a good idea to glue that onto a piece of cardboard so it's a little bit more substantial, a little bit stronger. Okay, so now you've got your sheep and you've got your code. What next? Well, you need someone to play with. So if you've got a, a brother or sister or a friend or maybe your mum and dad or someone like that that you can play with, it's much more fun if you can do this with two or even three people. So the idea is that the little sheep is going to get hidden somewhere. One of you is going to be the one who actually writes down the code of where the little sheep is hidden. So you might decide that that little sheep is going, you're going to go and hide it secretly while they're not looking. You're going to hide it under the stairs. So using whichever one of these codes you choose, you have to write out on a piece of paper in code under the stairs. Not in English, but in code, right? And then you give that to your, whoever it is you're playing with and then you can start timing them and you can work out how fast they are at finding the sheep. So they have to then decipher the code and work out by using this what on earth you have written with your dots and dashes. And then go and find the sheep under the stairs and bring it back and all the time you can be timing them. You can take it in turns so then they can have a go. They can write out um, a little place where they're going to hide the sheep. Hmm. They might decide that to hide the sheep in the laundry. So then they will go aside and they will write out in code in the laundry. It'll be all dots and dashes. And then you have to go and find where the little sheep is hidden. Uh, 
um, and they'll be timing you. So don't make it easy for them. But this could be quite a fun game um, because you never know where the sheep's going to be hidden and I'm sure that you're not going to make it easy. Um, but the other thing is that you're learning a little bit about Morse code and a little bit about Braille at the same time as having a, 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 a nice game with your, your siblings or with your parents or with your friends. So you can um, put all sorts of variations into that game, but it's actually quite a fun one and, and one that um, might be quite interesting for you to try. So try it out. Make sure that you um, have got all the spelling correct or else it might be a bit confusing for them. And uh, let us know how you go. Let us know how long it takes you to find, let's say, five each, five places each and see how long that takes you and who's the winner. Let us know. So have fun with that, finding your sheep. And don't forget, Jesus is a good shepherd and he really cares about us, each one of us. See you next week. Bye.